In today's video, we're headed to Fort St. John to check out where they're building the Site C Dam. So if you're new here, our channel, the Salty Beaver Explorers, is all about Canadian content. You never know what you're going to find here. So without further ado, let's head to the video right after this. Hi, welcome to Salty Beaver Explorers. Today it is really windy out and I'm in Fort St. John, BC. Today we're going to have a look around the Site C hydroelectric dam that they are building over the Peace River. And we're going to be driving through later and showing you some of the construction that's been going on to change the roads and show you exactly what's going on here. It's quite interesting. The Site C Dam will be a third dam and generating station on the Peace River after the WAC Bennett Dam and the Peace Canyon Dam. The Site C Hydroelectric Dam is the largest and most expensive infrastructure built in BC history with a price tag of $16 billion and will create approximately 13,000 person years of direct construction employment. Hydroelectric Dam and Generating Station on the Peace River, 7 kilometers southwest of Fort St. John. Located downstream of BC Hydro's two existing hydroelectric facilities, Site C will use water already stored behind the WAC Bennett Dam. The dam is expected to produce enough energy to power approximately 450,000 homes per year in British Columbia and be a clean, reliable, cost-effective electricity for more than 100 years. began here in 2015 and they expect that this dam project will be finished around 2025. of things that they've already been working on. And when the dam is complete, I think it's going to take about three months for them to actually fill the reservoir. In addition to the dam and generating station, the Site C project scope includes transmission lines, the realignment of up to 30 kilometers of Highway 29, the upgrade of several public roads that access the dam site, and shoreline protection measures at Hudson's Hope. The Site C Dam doesn't come without its controversy. It will create an 83 kilometer long reservoir upstream of the dam along the Peace River and is likely to cause massive alterations of ecosystem and biodiversity. Regionally, there are agreements in place with the intent of protecting the lands and Indigenous peoples. The area that the reservoir will be flooding is within the lands of the First Nations that are protected under the Treaty 8 Agreement from 1899. This treaty is in place to protect the traditional use of the lands by the First Nations, an agreement that will be violated by the Site C project. I don't want to get into specifics, politics, or our own views about the Site C Dam. I'm merely presenting a quick overview of both the pros and cons of this dam project. At the beginning of the video, I said we were going to film along Highway 29, but I screwed up. I erased the SD card so you'll just have to watch this clip instead. 
There are a number of bridges being constructed on Highway 29 to make sure that the highway is above the level of the water when they fill the reservoir. And I just want to say that these structures are just massive. We were quite amazed when we drove through. Thanks for joining us on today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment and subscribe and ring that bell icon to be notified of our next video upload. Our channel is all about Canada, so make sure to come back and see what we're exploring next.